Now on Colorado's Morning News, the 10th Mountain Division, which is a specialized infantry unit of the U.S. Army that trains for mountain combat, has a storied history since its founding during World War II. Many of those stories are unknown and untold until now. On June 3rd, 1945, Pi and the Julian Alps stood a lone majestic mountain located on the border between Italy and Yugoslavia. It was here that an unusual wartime story took place. I already want to watch it. Can we just go see it now? I love that voice. I do too. Yeah. It's Denver native, pro skier, film producer, friend of the program, Chris Anthony, sharing the stories of the 10th Mountain Division in his award-winning film, Mission Mount Mangart, which has a special screening on Veterans Day one week from today. And he joins us in studio along with Erica Brown, who is a wonderful blues singer, songwriter, recording artist, and actress. And she's part of that special event and is also very familiar with Chris, uh, Chris's youth initiative. And welcome to both of you. Thank you for coming in this morning. So nice to have people in the studio. Thanks for having us. Of course. Chris, I want to start with you. Tell us about this award-winning film and the world premiere that is set for again on Veterans Day. Absolutely. That was wonderful to hear that voice. That's Bruce Campbell, actually. He is one of the original 10th Mountain Division. He will be coming in for the show. He's 98 years old. We're flying him in, and he'll be a special guest to be here next week for the world premiere. Um, this uh, This is a film I've been working on for seven years and um, it it was just a passion project, and it built into something very special. And the way that I produced it was actually as an educational tool underneath my youth project. Mm-hmm. So uh, all the production costs were through donations. And because of that, anything that this film does will go back into my youth project. So any money that it raises will go back into the youth project or partnering people that will help me put the film on in different communities. Mm -hmm. But the one next week is going to be very special. It's in partnership with the Colorado Symphony because all the scores in the film, or most of them, are all original. And so they've been, the symphony's been working on learning those scores and they're going to perform them live next week. And then along with that, since it's a veteran Day. It's going to be very patriotic. So sitting to my right here is a well-known blues singer, Erica Brown, and she is going to help us lead into the night by singing America the Beautiful with the Colorado Symphony. And I want to hand it over to Erica because she's been working with one of my youth kids as well to teach them the national anthem. Yes, let's chat a little bit, Erica. This is quite an honor and quite exciting, I'm sure, for you. How long have you and Chris known each other and how did this all start? It's been a few years. <laughs> uh, we just won't say how many. Um, but when this project project started, uh, I got wind of it because I was playing a show in City Park, City Park Jazz. And he could hear me singing from two blocks away because the sound system was so insane. And it, he said, my head snapped up and I looked around and said, that sounds like Erica. So he's like, ah, I hear music in City Park. So he walks over and there I am. So he walks up and we start talking, just talking. And he mentions the project. And I was like, wow. So since it's patriotic, are you going to have, you know, like uh, the national anthem of America, the beautiful in the beginning, what are you doing? He said, I have a young lady from my youth initiative project. Who's going to be doing the anthem. I'm like, really? He was like, yeah. However, could you work with her a little bit? <laughs> so I'm like, uh, yeah. I saw a video of you working with her. Yes. That was pretty incredible. She was already very good. She yeah. is fabulous. Um, hi, Isabel. Her name's Isabel Thomas. Hey, Izzy. <laughs> um, so we are really, really excited, you know, to have her voice uh, on a day like Veterans Day because it's tying, you know, uh, the youth to the more experienced members of our community. It gives us a way to honor our veterans in an f- absolutely fabulous way. And then it ties in the film and the story of the whole 10th Mountain Division. I got a chance to see it, uh, you know, before we're going to premiere it. And it is amazing. I mean, like, Mr. Campbell's voice is like butter. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you bring up a good point, Erica, because I- I'm you know, tertiarily aware of this. But Chris, this is a story that is not well known, at least to the masses, right, about the 10th Mountain Division. Yeah, there's a, people have heard about a few of their stories. Of course, they've heard about what they did post-war, developing a lot of our ski areas and stuff like that. A lot of people have heard of the Battle of Riva Ridge. But what was the catalyst for this for me was that I found out there was a ski race 
June 3rd, 1945, that took place on the Yugoslavian border. And a lot of people didn't even know they were on the Yugoslavian border at that time. And then I kind of went down the rabbit hole learning about that. And then I learned about uh, the battle in Lake Garda, Italy. I also learned uh, something very unique about a woman by the name of Deborah Bancart that played a massive role in their history that nobody's ever spoken about. And that led to the fact that there was 200 women in Camp Hale and things like that. So there's a lot of stuff I've covering in this movie that has yet to be brought to life, which I'm very proud of. That's why it took seven years. I mean, this was a giant project. So this is Betcher Concert Hall next Thursday night. How do people get tickets? Yeah, they just go to the Colorado Symphony website. Um, tickets are still available. There's, a, I think we've sold almost 1,700, Whoa. but there, there's a screen that they're bringing into the theater that will sit above the symphony. This is going to be spectacular, sort of a first-of-a-time thing. And uh, the screen is four sided so the Betcher concert hall is round and um, the symphony will sit below it in their usual positions and they will perform an overture and a few songs and Erica will sing we'll take a little break and then we'll show the movie and then the goal is for the symphony to come in live for the tail end of the film and bring us into the close and into the credits it's going to be a beautiful night Friend of the program, Chris Anthony, Erica Brown, and special guest going to be singing Mission Mount Mangard. I, I look forward to it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. you Thank you. Thanks for having us. Ticket info, coloradosymphony.org.